Well, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll be looking at the energy sector, this time around specifically the electricity subsector. Now, some power experts have condemned the increase in electricity tariff, describing it as arbitrary and calling for the immediate reversal of the increase. Now, the expert who spoke with journalists in Lagos said the sudden increase is illegal and as such, Condemnation has continued to throw the increase in electricity tariff by uh, this cause, with consumer groups and industry experts describing the hike as illegal. Uh, let me just mention some of them. Shino Odubemi, national coordinator, where is the light? An advocacy group said there's no noble reason for the perennial and uh, time secret increase in electricity tariff by the discos beyond the inhuman exploitation. We have uh, the publisher of Energy Times, Kayode Ekudayo, joining us right now on this discuss. Good morning to you, Kayode. Good morning, sir. Yes, uh, it is a pleasure to have you. Let's talk about uh, this increment, if it's actually justifiable. Uh, what do you really make of it? Nigerians are living in abject poverty. Most of them cannot really use even clean sources of energy. They depend on wood and charcoal. And right now, this increment in the wake of uh, you know, fuel scarcity, high transportation costs, what do you really make out of all of this? Yes, thank you. The recent uh, slight increase in the electricity tariff, uh, to me, is unjustifiable. Uh, looking at uh, the way we were told in recent time, that was last year, where Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission told us that for any increase to take place, there will be 24 or 12 hours light. Up to this moment, if I can say, even before, the only time we enjoyed uh, light very well in some area last year was around December when the, during the Yule tide. I, 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 I could say it categorically because of the report I got that there was slight uh, stability in uh, LCT supply in some area, in some states at that period. But that does not justify increase in the tariff. Yes, it has been said that... Uh, uh, the regulatory body in August last year told us that for any increase to take place, there will be 12 hours light in some area, there will be 24 hours. Though it wasn't specific which area we enjoy a stable power supply. But unfortunately, it's, it's, it's the same regulatory body that approved that slight increase. And to justify what they have done, we were told that just a category of people that got that increase. Whether category of people, whether small group of people, got increased. We are all in the same area where electricity has been supplied to people. Unfortunately, the stability is not yet uh, established that uh, the people are enjoying that uh, what uh, the system promised the, the, the uh, consumers. So to me, it, it's not right. Although in 2020, there was a document which was even signed by the by the labor union, including the uh, NEC, including DISCO, including generis, uh, generation companies, that there will be an increase uh, twice in a year. But that was based on stability of power supply. But unfortunately, we are yet to achieve that mm. before this slight increase. And another thing that I noticed, which may reduce the tension, which it has uh, come to our our knowledge and the, the way things are going is the, the usage of prepaid meter. Mm -hmm. yeah, right now, it's difficult for consumers to even know whether their tariff has increased at what percentage. That's the, that's the thing, only, Kaede, because people, I subscribe, I didn't even know how much um, you know, uh, yes. <laughs> I, I pay per unit and all of that. I'm even surprised that there's been an increase as it is. Yes, that is, that, is the, that is a disadvantage. That's one of the disadvantages of prepaid meter. It's quite difficult for consumers to discover or detect any increase. And that is likely to go on like that, like that, for, 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 for many years to come. So consumers have to be vigilant mm. and be checking what they are buying from their vendors at all periods of time. All right. Because, uh, yeah. 
I, I was going to say that uh, a prophet seems to be their order of the day as opposed to uh, services. Because if you look at it right now, they are breaching all forms of um, the rules of engagement. And government is just uh, looking at them, arms akimbo, and nothing is really being done about it. They're just after profit and not service. No, I won't say they are, they are just after service. There is no, uh, they are only after uh, profit without service. I wouldn't look at it into it. I, I, I have, I, I understand the system and I know what is going on. Yes, there are, pain, there are, there are certain things we cannot even explain. Uh, a, a lot of things are going on. They, you see, I'm not defending anybody. No, because, but because that, they, I'm trying to understand if they are not after, uh, they are not after um, serve, serve, or if they are after profit, uh, really. Because if you look at it, I've had complaints. A lot of people are always complaining that um, their, uh, what's it called, their transformers are, are faulty. At the end of the day, it is the community that contributes, you know, to get this uh, transformers back on so that they can enjoy this electricity. Electric Electricity services at the end of the day they're still being charged a premium for it. Yes, yes. You see, every every we, we, we are we are not in a socialism. Uh, we are in a capitalist state, and unfortunately, unfortunately, what we have seen, we continue, we continue until we are having a stability in the power supply. The discos are desperately looking for what to make in form of profit. The denko. Every one of them. And that is why I've been telling you, if you look at my column in Energy Time this week, they, 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 they plan to privatize uh, the five power stations, which was built by NIPP, Niger Data Power Holding Company. It, 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 it should be a course on Nigeria. If we go ahead and privatize that uh, five private company, I mean, that uh, power plant, look at it. That Niger Data Power Holding Company uh, uh, established 10 power plants. We sold five of it. The five of it, we don't know how they are producing today. We don't know what they are generating today. It is only the five that is remaining that is sustaining the economy of this country. Now, the federal government, because they want to, I mean, they want to finance the 2023 budget, just one year budget, they said they want to sell that power plant. How in anywhere in the world is done? Even in the US, there are power plants that belong to. The state that belongs to the government is not all the power plant in the, in the United States is privatized. And if, if you privatize this power plant, must you use to finance a budget of one year that you go into the hand of private, into the hand of individuals? See, I mean, these are the things that are occurring in the economy. And these are the things that we, is weakening the system. And that is why the inflation is rising every day. How can you, how can a government even think of saying they want to sell a national power, a, a, a national asset because of to finance a budget? So, and so, that so, is so, what so, Kayade, so Kayade, that if I have to butt in, would you really say that this uh, supposed um, privatization of uh, the uh, electricity sector as it is um, has not really done us all the good that we expect? Electricity privatization in the country has been a failure. There is nothing that has worked since privatization of this asset. What can you pinpoint to that has worked? Is it the generating companies that are producing at higher, higher, higher level? Like, for instance, look at Eggbane. Eggbane was producing at, at the rate of 6,000 or, or 4,000 at that time. No, was producing around uh, 3,500 before privatization. Today, it's not producing up to that. All what we are hearing that invest, I mean, investment are going into that uh, power plant. Nothing so so for it. Look at all the other generating power plants, even including hydro. What have they added to the system? I can remember. I remember when Bolaiki was a minister of power. We went to we go to uh, Edwin. On that day, the Nigerian economy made 4,000 megawatts. Although it didn't last for three days. Look at when Bolaiki was a minister and look at it. We are still in my only on the same 4,000 megawatts. Is it a country? Mm. Okay, we are now, still in my only on the same 4,000 megawatts. Mm. We keep on pumping money to the power sector. Nothing so for it. Now you want to sell a little one that is producing for the country because you want to finance a, a, a budget for a mean, deficit. So just 12 months, you want to squander that money into, in, into the system because of elections around. 
Who, can, where in the world is being done? Okay, Kennedy, let's look at um, the su uh, supply aspect. You know, Nigerians yes. are actually demanding yes. uh, lots of, uh, you know, electricity for their, uh, for, to power different things right now. But uh, over time, we well, seem to hear lots of excuses and uh, some sort of um, reasons uh, by the discourse. They, they'll tell you that uh, the reason for short supply is because uh, consumers are not uh, paying their bills as at when do you, they talk about uh, water level, they talk about um, fuel and all of that. You know, are these reasons actually cogent? See, let me, I've been telling people there is no reason any disco or Jenko can give. Yes, there are standard, uh, standard, we call it standard, that is power that is not taking standard power. And these are the reasons that we are having problems in the economy today. Yes, there are certain there are times power will be generated, uh, generated to the national grid. Unfortunately, maybe because of the weak uh, uh, national grid, this power will not be taken. You understand? They, they have to sort down some plants. They have to sort down some units in some plants. Possibly because of the great challenge. And if this thing gets to the lowest ebb, and that is why you see national grid collapses all the time. Yes, there are standard power which are not being taken by the discourse. The reason why they are not being taken, I don't know. And this is what NEC is fighting about. That why should you not take power when you needed this power to, to, to I mean, to this route to the consumers. Unfortunately, we still have this challenge till now. We still have this challenge till now. And unfortunately, again, you see, we don't have any uh, regulatory, strong regulatory body in the system. Because I believe now some disco is supposed to have been fined for not taking power from the national grid when this power is generated to the grid. But we didn't see any fine. I look at the, the quarterly report of NEC, I didn't see any fine that related to standard power in it. All what we see is complaining that this this uh, this uh, this go even to take power when this power was generated to the national grid. And the DCN will tell you that there is nothing wrong with the uh, national grid that is agile, and they will give you excuses that it's only limited to certain area. That's why the thing is not being taken. So these are all the balls being running around the same circle, and we are being in need for a very long time. Can you imagine, as I told you, 4,000 uh, 4, megawatts was generated when Bolaige was a minister. I was with him to a uh, power plant when a passenger was the president. We, he made that 4,000 in a day. The next day, the thing fell to 3,000. And since then, we've been on need 4,000. Nothing changed. We keep on spending money, the same money. They say more, more, more money. Do you believe that we, within last year, the federal, uh, uh, TCN or federal government spent almost two trillion to say to improve the national grid? Up to this moment, some communities, some states are in blackout. Nothing changed. All right, Coyote, uh, let me try and understand how this. Uh tariff um, increment really work? Is it that the discos out of your own volition, maybe they just go on a whim and decide to increase the tariff? Are they the ones responsible no, in the no, direct no. increment? No, or how no, does no, it really no. work? The disco, sir, the disco cannot go on their own to increase without okay. the support of NEC. Okay. NEC so NEC is in support of this particular that, increment right now? Hello? So NEC is in support of this particular increment right now? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's not possible for this code to just okay. like a fight. It has to be in support. And that is with the interest of NEC. NEC approved this thing since last year. So it was a strategy to bring it out during the unitized so that people will have opportunity to... And as I said, it's difficult for consumers now to detect. Even if it is being increased every day, you cannot detect it. It's difficult. If your own is to buy uh, from your friend or buy your uh, recharge, and you, 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 all what you want is to have light. Mm -hmm. see, that is it. And that's why you don't see any protest. It's only a few people who are talking. Assuming you have a bill, you have a bill which led to agitation in the recent past. You have, assuming you have a bill, you'll be able to even read, calculate the, the, the interest. But some people will even recharge from now for prepaid and tear the seat. Because they, they don't follow it. All what they want is to have life. And I, I mean, let me say this. 
see, from what I've seen and from the experience I've, I've had, Nigerians are ready to pay any amount for stability power supply. If you get 24 hours power supply, they don't, they won't complain. It's like a fuel. See what we are, I mean, what we are, I, I mean, I mean, see what is happening today. People are paying as much as still in uh, Naira per litre for fuel. They're not complaining because they are desperately looking for fuel and they want it. And what they have been telling people, I'm sorry to divert. If we want to deregulate, deregulate. Why are you, and government is not saying anything concerning it. Nobody is even moved about it. Eh? Which is quite unfortunate. Eh? It's actually alarming, uh, you know, but what exactly are the remote causes, uh, the claim right now by the NRC, you know, for this particular increment? Because if they're increasing, they should be giving us reasons why these increments are being done from time no, to time. No, no, you see, you see, they don't need to, they don't need to tell us. They don't, they don't need, need to, to tell us. We are paying. Are being, no, there are being a document which I said, which I told you. Okay. Labor, labor signed in 2020, mm. that to 2027, it was stated clearly. And we know there was a committee set up by the federal government. You remember that time? Yes, I do. So there, it was stated clearly that there will be slight increase and maybe a major increase in one year or two years. Okay. It was agreed. So there was no need for any any calling. And they said, it because I read it, consultation. Mm. Consultation is only meant for when there is going to be a major increase, not a slight increase. And if you look at this, it's just a close slight Slight increase. Even me, I didn't know that there was an increase. All okay. it was when people were making noise. I now went back to my you that I got from my friend. Door. I now mm. compare one or two things together. I now see the difference. All right. You know? So the, 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 the increase, the one they did now, is only, according to what he said, it's only affected, it affected the only slight community, like people in the village, mostly, who doesn't have access to this power at all times. You understand? And if why should they? Why should they be paying higher? Let's people in the village. This. Go ahead, Kade. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, you see, if you look at the economy, honestly, the exchange rate doesn't help matter. It doesn't at all. See, these people are buying. They are buying equipment. Truly, they are buying certain things to add to the system. And some of them are even paying loan in the bank. And that is what I'm saying. One of the failure of privatization of Nigeria assets. We left it in the hand of people who doesn't have every money pumping into the system. They came and started uh, I mean, selling property, relying on what the system will generate for them, not what they are putting into the system. Factually, all the discos are, are, are in debt with banks, and they are struggling to pay this debt. And that is what we are finding ourselves now. And in fact, the government we have doesn't think that it's not necessary to privatize another asset when the one they are privatized doesn't give any resource. Now the federal government wants to go ahead and privatize a system, a power, uh, some power power that, that are even sustaining the economy. All right, uh, Kayode, as we round off right now, because the consumers are the ones to the center of it all, you know, yes, they, they, they can't just fold their arms. Uh, what can they really yes. be doing now going forward to, to protect themselves? Yes, what we advise uh, is, is that the consumer have to be united at this time. And we have to have a united front. And that, that, I, I, won't, I won't subscribe to protest. We need to, we need to, we need to have a constant relationship with NEC. And NEC has to be up to the task. And it, it, it is unfortunate at this period that people have to pay more for electricity when there is no different way to, to even power the generator. So, factually, many businesses are closing down. Some people have not even opened since the beginning of this year, which is quite unfortunate. And those who, are <coughs> who opened could not even uh, uh, work because there is no power, there is no light in their respective offices. So, my suggestion is that the consumer right now should be united and form a formidable group, not all these scattered uh, uh, NGOs that are looking for whatever they want to do, eat or not those things. There should be a one strong union that will fight for the consumers. That right. is my tip, sir. All right, thank you we so much. We continue to have this increase mm. without the knowledge of consumer at all times. That's right. what I'm suspecting. All right, thank you. Uh, his advice that Nigerians should uh, form um, a very strong, formidable front so they actually.
can actually tackle neck over all of this, uh, you know, increment uh, that they might not even be aware of. Thank you once again, Karade Ekudaya, publisher, Energy Thank Times you. newspaper. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, we'll take another break or we'll come back and this time around we'll be wrapping up the week with sports in a moment. Stay with us. <laughs>